There's 104 days of summer vacation And school comes along just to end it So the annual problem for our generation Is finding a good way to spend it Life may be Building a rocket or fighting a mummy Or climbing up the Eiffel Tower Discovering something that doesn't exist hey. Or giving a monkey a shower Surfing tidal waves Creating nanobots or locating Frankenstein's brain it's over here. Finding a dodo bird, painting a continent, or driving our sister insane. As you can see, there's a whole lot of stuff to do before school starts this fall. Come on, Barry! So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. So stick with us, cause Phineas and Ferb are gonna do it all. Mom! Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence. We are giving away tickets to see everyone's favorite girl rockers, the Bettys. Ah! All you have to do is be the 444 and 4 fourths ah, caller. I love fractions. And you and your best Betty buddy will get to ride with the band on the Betty bus to see the show. Ah! Call now. Oh, it's busy. I've just got to win. Clearly, I'm your biggest fan. See? Even my Betty boombox, which rests on my Betty bedside table next to my Betty bed, runs on Betty batteries. Obsession wrong. I know. Oh, it's ringing. Congratulations. You're the winning caller. Imagine a whole day of hanging with Crash and the band. And as an added bonus, a whole day of not thinking about my goofy brothers. <laughs> Just me, you, and the Bettys. Oh, they're here. Bye. Enjoy your music concert. Be careful. Have fun on your journey. I can't believe we're about to board the Betty bus. I bet the bus driver's going to be a spaced out rocker. <laughs> Hey, hello, girls. My name is Dennis, and I'm with the radio station. <laughs> that is Sir Bacon, the band's mascot. According to our focus groups, girls your age overwhelmingly find that cool. <gasps> totally! Whoa! This place is a total pigsty. We, we love, love it. it! Look, Stacy, it's them! Shh. They're the creating between shows. Here comes two chicks, nobody knows. Oh, we're your biggest fans! Yeah, we, we won a contest, and now we get to hang out with you all day. We'll just keep it down. We're trying to write a song. Sure thing. Oh, no problem. <laughs> oh, my gosh! It's the Betty Bass guitar! I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh. Check this out. So, tell me, girls, would you like to be part of the music-making process and help us write a song? Oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh! Would, would we? we? Great. First, we can't possibly write a song in this filth, so you girls can start by cleaning up the bus. Here you go. All right, Ferb. What should we do today? One, an escalator to the moon. Two, become secret agents. Three, clone giant hamsters. Hey, where's Perry? Huh. I wonder where he goes when we can't find him. What the? Some sort of secret room? Wow. What in the world? A secret underground headquarters with a particle disruptor and, oh, a hovercraft. Looks like we're going to be secret agents, huh? When did you find the time to build all this, Ferb? Actually, I... Hello, Agent P. Hang on, hang on. It's uh, here somewhere on this clipboard from which I have yet to look up. Agent P, P for Phineas. Nice touch, Ferb. Actually... Ah, yes, here it is. Dr. Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> what a surprise. Building some sort of destructo ray, end of the world, yada, yada, yada. I'm faxing you the coordinates. Cool. Quick, googly moogly. Do. Carl, Carl, who are those kids? Oh boy, they're Agent P's owners, sir. Looks like they found one of our secret tunnels. Sweet, we got our mission, Agent F, to the hover jet. Is in verb. Is in verb. Not the hover jet? Oh no, they didn't. There you are, Agent P. Those boys are in jeopardy and not covered under our hover jet insurance plan. So, stop doofenshmirtz and protect those boys. Oh, and where are you going, mister? The boys will never find a tree tunnel. Wow. Laser beam, magnet ray, cup holder. You really thought of everything, Ferb. Actually. Hold up, up. The Betty's tour bus. Candace is on there. We should go say hi. Oh, we're all done cleaning the bus. Oh, <laughs> we can't get to our song till we deal with our fan mail. Think you could help? Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Great. You can start with this bag. And here's the shredder. Check this one out. <clears throat> Beloved Betty's, your band is the biggest, baddest, most banging bunch of... Hey! 
This is my letter. They didn't even read it. Yeah, but don't forget, we are on the bus helping the band write a song. Yeah, I guess you're right. And you know what the best part is? I haven't even thought about my brothers the whole day. Daisy, look at my brother! Huh? I don't see anything. B -b -b I, I could have sworn I... I think the cleaning supplies are starting to get to you. That must be it. That's gotta be it. I'm not even gonna look. Stop, doofenshmirtz. Protect the boys. Stop, doofenshmirtz. Protect the boys. <laughs> ah, nothing like a nice snack before testing the Destructinator. <laughs> hey, Barrett, man, it's Platypus. Why do you always go for the nose? Here you go. All 250,000 letters opened and shredded. Oh, I just thought of something. The outside of this bus is dirty, too. You know, Stacy, I've been getting to think that the Bettys have just been taking advantage of us this whole time. What are you talking about? They've been nothing but... Look out! Nice to us as we got on the bus. <laughs> My automatic tennis ball server can go all night, Barry the Black. Destructinator countdown initiated. 30 seconds to activation. 30, 29. Wow, Verb. This evil villain layer is awesome. I see you carved out with dynamite. Nice, nice. Oh, cool. You got an automatic tennis ball server. Sweet. Hey, what's going on, Perry the Blather? Now we're finished washing the outside of the bus. It nearly killed us, but we're finished! Right, work girls? You have earned a special surprise. Really? You get to scrub the toilets. What? Yay! Toilets! And be sure to get underneath the lid! Oh, that is it! We're through being your chore monkeys, right, Stace? Yay! A Betty Ball Brush! You've just been using us this whole trip. I mean, is this how you treat your fans? It should be your fans that inspire you to make music. I mean, if you can't see that by now, then you could just drop me off at the next Betty bus stop. Um, fortunately, guys, she's right. I feel like a bit of a bitty butthead. We're sorry for treating you so bad. How can we ever make it up to you? I'll let you bang my Betty Bongos. Oh, play my Betty bass guitar. Hey, guys, that's it. You gotta bang your Betty Bongos and bring your Betty bass guitar and with the Betty backbeat. Um. You'll go Betty Betty far? Perfect! That rooks! Hey, girls! What's going on? We've just helped the Bettys write us. Wait a second. Dennis, if you're here, then who's driving the bus? Oh, come on, I'll show you. Autopilot. Wow! wow. Cool! Seven. By the way, six, I love that giant five, ray gun counting down to zero. Four, okay, seriously. Three, when did you make all this? Look, for the last one. time, I didn't. did you make a working destructo ray? <laughs> hey, that's the bus Candace is on. I get it. We have to save Candace. What a cool mission. Phineas and Ferb, Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> Say, what's all the fussing about? Why did I buy so many mops? We're coming, Candace! Agent F, activate the magnet ray! It's too heavy! Whatever you're doing is working! Verb, you designed this thing? Can you give me any more power? Excellent! We did it! Our sister's safe! Brilliant! Let's head home. Way to go, Candice! Now we are your biggest fans! How can we thank you? Well, you can come to my house and clean up my room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. How about you sing with us on stage instead? <gasps> it's, it's a, a deal! deal. <laughs> I can't wait to get home and tell Mom all about our secret spy adventure. Hey, 
What's going on? It's like we're stuck in some sort of tractor beam. Ah! Hi, Phineas. Seriously, Phineas, what are you doing? That, my friend, is classified information. Oh, what a great day. Not one phone call from Candace with some crazy, unbelievable Mom, story Mom, about her. guess what Ferb did? He made a secret tunnel and a spy headquarters and a villain's lair and a hover jet shaped like Perry. Tell her, Ferb. Actually, Wait I... Wait a second. Why are you two soaking wet? Ugh, I give up. We fell in Isabella's pool. Well, that, I believe. Oh, hi, Perry. I wonder how Candace is doing. Oi! We'd like to bring a very special person to the stage. She's not only Betty's best fan, but she also saved all... Ladies and gents, as how I defeated the wild tigers in the Amazon. Awesome story, Grandpa Reg. Well, I'm sure you're going to hear plenty more fantastical stories during Gran and Gramps' visit. You know, hon, I was thinking we could all head to the mall. What a splendid idea. I'd love to treat Candice to some new clothes. <gasps> I'll be in the car. Hey, Mom, could we just stay home and hear some more of Grandpa's cool stories? Sounds good to me. Wonderful. We'll see you boys later. My boy, what's this behind your ear? It's me scrapbook. How'd you do that? It's just a little bit of how's your father. I may seem like a barmy old git now, but when I wasn't so long in the tooth, I had some grand larks and engaged in a fair amount of daring do. Translate? When he was younger, he did a bunch of stuff. Here I am as a young lad. I made my living working at the family fish and chip shop. <laughs> but I was destined for bigger things. I was known as the great flying fishmonger. Here's my first jump over my dear mum's tea society. Me jumping a whale, a ton of crumpets, the queen mum. But there was one jump that haunts me to this day. McGregor's Gorge of Doom. People turned out by the thousands to witness me and my trusty motorbike the holy mackerel, make our biggest jump yet. The event was so massive, I hired a local band to write me a theme song. Well, it wasn't exactly a toe-tapper. Then all of a sudden, it started to rain. I'd have to postpone my great feat. A second go at it weeks later. And the same result! And yet another attempt. Nothing but blasted rain again. Let's go. Yeah, I've got teeth not to brush. Over the years, my eyesight went, and with the lumbago, <laughs> sciatica, oh, brucitis, and wait for it. <coughs> Trick knee, jumping McGregor's gorge, is an intention lost to the past. Wow, Grandpa. So whatever happened to the holy mackerel? She's right over there. Although I see your mother turned her into a lamp. Ferb, I know what we're going to do today. Oh, Grandma, you're gonna love this mall. I'll show you my favorite store, and there's this little dress that... Hmm. Stacy, I have a strange feeling that ground was just broken in my backyard. I need you to get over there and tell me what's going on. Judging from this photo of McGregor's Gorge, we're right on track. Who's the tiger? Hey, Phineas, what you doing? Hey, Isabella, we're helping Grandpa Red fulfill his crushed dreams. Where's Fur? He's in the garage restoring a mackerel. cute little toy over for Perry. Where is he? Huh. I don't know. Oh, hey, Agent P. Monogram's thrown his back out. I'm on the floor, Agent P. So, I'll be giving you your assignment, okay? Okay. Do a close-up. Huh? Oh, yeah. Huh. <clears throat> Doofenshmirtz has been purchasing some suspicious items. Bags of sand and extra-long shoelace. We know he's up to no good. Get out there and see what he's up to. How was that? Just hand me my pills, Carl. 
What's all the kerfuffle, lads? You can open your eyes now. Blimey! It's McGregor's Gorge and the Holy Mackerel! Ferb, you've restored my pride and joy! But uh, I can't operate a motorbike in my condition. Remember the... Not a problem. Ferb's tricked out the entire bike. Lumbar support, padded seating, ergonomic controls... And the best part, sidecars! See, as much as we want to help you fulfill your dream, we also really want to jump a gorge. Well, then you'll come with me. The flying fishmongers shall jump again! Oh, my dear! You look like a queen! Brava! Uh, can we get out of here, like, now, before anyone I know happens to see... Candace? I almost didn't recognize you. Jeremy! I, uh... I yeah. gotta meet my mom in the food court, but I'll see you later. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hey, Cece! Mom! Cece just told me the boys built a huge gorge in the backyard! That hat might be a bit too tight. Doofenshmirtz Sable Incorporated! Oh, just come in! Into my truck! Yes, sticky flypaper for the platypus! <laughs> Quick story. Back in Drusselstein in the days of my youth, there was a bully named Boris, who always wore big black boots. They called him Big Black Boots Boris the Bully. He was always kicking sand in my face when I was in the sandbox. Sand! My first day! Sand! Balancing my checkbook! Sand! The beach! Oddly enough, nothing. But I couldn't relax because I kept waiting for it. Now, though, he will be the one doing the waiting. Behold! Who's blinded by sand, Anator? Or maybe the who's crying now, Anator? Or something like that. Something with the Anator suffix. In any case, it's a giant sand kicking machine. You see, Perry the Platypus, Boris has moved to the tri state area. So now, I am going to cover his entire house in sand! <laughs> Come see the flying fishmongers jump McGregor's Gorge! Tell your friends! Do you know how dumb you look? I thought it would be a good way to get more attention. I love your outfit. It's so cute. Gorge, gorge jump. jump! Fishmongers fly again! Come see the flying fishmonger jump the gorge. Live! <gasps> That's our yard! Mom, Mom, come here. I need you to see this. Sponsored by Gorgeous Cream Pour Paste. Oh, honey, your pores aren't that big. And now, what you've all come to see, the flying fishmongers. And here to play the fishmonger's anthem are Isabella and the Fireside Girls. Hit it! He's a fishmonger and he's flying. Well, me boy, looks like I'll never get to fulfill my dream. Hey, guys, you can stop playing. Wait a second. Start again. Stop! Start! Grandpa! The song is so dreary, it's causing it to rain. What if we pep it up a bit? Pep away, me boy. Hey, Isabella, crank it up a notch. Okie dokie. Ready, girls? Holy, holy mackerel, holy, holy mackerel, holy, holy mackerel, holy, holy mackerel. He's bald on top, he's got an artificial hip. He's gonna take a hop, he's gonna take a trip. He's weak in the knees and he can't find his keys. But put your hands together, cause he's here to please. He's a flying fishmonger. He's a flying fishmonger. He's a flying fishmonger with nerves of steel. He's got an old blender motor and a pair of wheels. Extra, extra, fishmonger and kids jump the greatest gorge. Extra, extra, fishmonger and kids plummet to the doom. Maybe we should have let it rain. Don't worry, Grandpa. We've got a backup plan. Verb. Good show. Extra, extra. Oh, forget it. Now that can't be good. Spot of tea. Yeah, all right. Dad, can we speed up this pony ride a little? Honey, I'll have you ladies home in two shakes of a lamb's tail. That was a close one. Good show, 
me, boy. Good show. <laughs> the home of my former nemesis. Time to kick a little sand. Eh, Perry the platypus? <laughs> Tube socks? What is this, 1974? Well, it's too late now. Oh, what are you doing? Home again, home again. Oh, finally. Thank you, lads, for helping this old codger fulfill his dream. Ah, you guys are so busted. Look at this. It's even better than I thought. There's no way you're going to get out of this one. Oh, Mom. Mom! Cut them out, Harry the Flat, the Pussy Little Grabbies. Ha! No stopping it now! Even on my sand kicking machine. Sand! Gosh, you Betty the Platypus! I must say, love the new anthem. Hey, Perry. But I do miss the old one. Couldn't I hear it one last time? You got it, Grandpa. One last time, girls. He's a fish motor and he flies. He's a fish motor. These two have really done it this time, Mom. Look what they did to the backyard. Wow! <gasps> you guys made the lawn look great. Oh, it's all weeded and watered. Oh, well I, done. I... I... What else did you do today? Well, these two Royster Doisters wheeled out me old iron, built a cracking match for McGregor's Gorge, and helped this daft old git have one last knees up. I have absolutely no idea. Holy, holy mackerel, holy, holy mackerel, holy, holy mackerel. He's bald on top, he's got an artificial hip. He's gonna take a hop, he's gonna take a trip. He's weak in the knees and he can't find his keys. But put your hands together cause he's here to please. He's a flying fishmonger. Flying fishmonger. He's a flying fishmonger. Dead.